Welcome to part two. In part one, I discussed how to uh, insert the SD card into the radio and set up the card ready to take our standard channel spreadsheet and be programmed up with the channels that we wanted on the radio. I also showed how to download that spreadsheet onto your computer. So the next stage is to put the SD card into the computer, open the RT system software and set up the uh, standard channel spreadsheet onto the card. What I didn't mention in part one was that we're using a micro SD card like this one. And a lot of computers don't have a micro SD card slot. So you need to use an adapter like this that just literally slots into there like so. And then you've got a standard SD card size for your computer. When you buy the micro SD cards, a lot of them come with the adapter, so it's well worth doing, then at least you've got one. So let's get to it then. Let's have a look at the RT system software, importing the standard channel spreadsheet into it, and then programming all of that onto the SD card ready to put back into the radio. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to the RT system software website, and here it is. The reason we use RT system software rather than the perfectly good Yesu software is that RT system software allows us to import from a CSV file. Whereas with the Yesu software, you've got to copy and paste and copy and pasting 500 memories is not a trivial task. On the left, you can see that the products are listed in alphabetical order by manufacturer. So we scroll down, choose Yesu, and then we'll have four options. Ours is a mobile, so we want to choose that one. Then you'll see lots and lots of mobiles. It's not just Fusion, they do software for just about every uh, radio that's out there, and certainly lots and lots of the Yesu ones. Please be careful to make sure that you choose the correct software for your radio. You'll also see that quite a lot of these have a cable symbol on the icon. That means that you get the cable with the software. Of course, with the FTM 100, the cable is already with the radio, so we don't need that. So if we scroll down now until we see FTM 100, this is the ADMS M100 software. Select that one. And here we are. So from this point, you can click on add to cart and purchase in the normal way. You will then receive an email with the download link and your registration code to enter into the software. After that, just install the software in the usual way. So having started the software, we're presented with this screen with the usual menus, icons, and a single worksheet here with one frequency in it. What we need to do now is to read the information from the card that we uh, set up in the radio previously. So if we go up to the communications menu up here, you'll see there's two ways of doing that. One is to get the data or send the data to the radio directly. And that is if you are using the uh, provided programming lead. In this instance, we're not, we're using the SD card. So we have a read data or write data to the SD card. So we want to read the data. It knows where the SD card is, so we just click on Read Data from SD Card. And you can see here it says Reading Data. Click OK, and there we go. It's now reading from the card. And of course, it looks no different because we didn't actually program any information into the card other than maybe the call sign. So having done that, what we need to do now is load in that spreadsheet that has all the standard channels on. So we use the import command to do that. Up into the file menu and click on import. Once we've done that, we select the file we want and click open. You can just click next on all these boxes. You don't need to worry about 
what it means. It's just straightforward all the way through until you click finish. So having set up all the frequencies into uh, the software, the next thing we need to do is make sure we have the radio programmed with its settings. So if we go to the settings menu and click on radio menu settings, this dialog box pops up. There aren't too many settings we need to mess about with here. Also power off is useful. If you have the radio in a car, then that will turn the radio off after whatever you set it to. I normally have mine set to an hour. Um, I don't bother with the one at home, but certainly in the car it helps. Um, when I get out of the car and forget to turn the radio off, uh, it doesn't flatten my car battery. The beeps are uh, off, low or high. Those are things like uh, pressing buttons on the radio. Uh, time format in 12 or 24 hour format. And your timeout timer. Three minutes is generally accepted to be the norm. You can also set your time zone here, which is GMT in my case, and your units in either metric or inches. I prefer imperial measurements, so I'm going to set it to inches. There are two more tabs uh, for us to look at. One is the APRS beacon tab. And over on the right hand side here, the only thing you need to change is distance to mile and speed in miles per hour. Then back to the APRS tab, and here is where you set your call sign. So in my case, I've got it set to G0 VGS. Once you've finished, just click the X. There is no need to save because it pops up and asks you to. Click yes, and that's it now. So we've set up the settings for the radio, and we've set up the spreadsheet all ready to be programmed to the card. So if we now go back to the communications menu, we have an option to write data to SD card. So if we click that, write to SD card completed. So our SD card now has a complete program on it, ready to be entered into the radio. So with the SD card back in the radio, we're now ready to read from the card and program the radio with the standard channels that we previously programmed onto the card. So as before, we want to press and hold the display button in order to get into the setup menu. Once we're in the setup menu, choose number 11, SD, and press display momentarily. And then we have the option either to format our backup. Now, obviously we don't want to format the card this time. So we go into backup. We've got the option to write to the SD card or read from it. And we want to read from it. Press display momentarily. And then we have four options. The one we're interested in is number one, all. So we just select that. And it says, are you sure? So we click OK. And that's now completed. At the end of it, the radio will automatically restart. So now if we're going to memory mode, you can see we've got all our channels programmed into the radio. I hope you found that useful. If so, please give it a like, and if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until the next time, bye for now.